Hello, my name is Luca Bertagnolio and today is July 1st, 2017, the first year in the new Toastmaster year. But let's first celebrate what happened in the previous Toastmaster year. Did you achieve any new milestone in your competent communicator or your competent leadership track? Did you achieve any new certification? Has your club earned enough DCP points to achieve any status? Did you contribute in any way to any DCP point for your club? But more importantly, did you have fun this year being a Toastmaster? It's also time to plan for the year that just began. As a normal Toastmaster member, what are your plans for this new year? Do you plan on achieving any further communication experience? What about any leadership? What about achieving the Distinguished Toastmaster status? It's very important at this point in time to start to plan for your future activities in order to achieve your goals. And if you are a club officer just elected, just start to think about a club success plan. There will be enough time to discuss about what this means in next episode of this video blog. Now, my role for the coming year is to be an area director. I've become the area director for Area J2 in Southwest Switzerland, and I will also keep being the vice president education for my home club. The changes in being an area director are very well reflected in my view in what is the Toastmasters International Mission, which says we empower individuals to become more effective communicators and leaders. Remember these words, communication and leadership. No wonder they are the two tracks on which we are currently practicing at all of our meetings. Nowhere it says public speaking, really, because that is an indirect benefit of achieving better communication and better leadership. My intent this year as an area director is in fact to increase quality and quantity of communication within my club and within the area I now manage. One of the most important things to achieve is to also become familiar with all of the stakeholders which are active in your club and in your area. So if you are a member, get acquainted with all of the other members and definitely with your club officers. If you are a club officer, get acquainted with your area director, but also, very importantly, become familiar with your neighboring clubs, the officers in the other clubs. It's very important to exchange experiences with them because they might help you and your club achieve new success. In closing, my challenges for the year that just begun would be to be a good area director for the clubs in the area I now manage, but also as VP Education for my club, to be a good Vice President Education for them. In general, I look to increase communication online, and this video blog is one such example. My idea would be to leverage social media further, to raise discussion using this video blog as a platform, to create a larger network of people interested in the domain which I will be talking about, and to strive to publish new content on a weekly basis. Thanks for listening to my message, and again, a very warm welcome to the 2017-2018 Toastmaster year. Let the fun begin!